Uh. Hi guys, it's Kate and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If not, maybe I can make it better. Maybe make you smile. Boots wants to say hello. Okay. Hey. Alrighty guys, so today I thought it would be fun to do my top 10 Sephora Ulta beauty product must-haves. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna be showing you my personal top favorite, top 10 beauty products, and then that way, you know, you could maybe jot it down in your notes app or in your brain, like, ooh, I like that product, I wanna get it too. You know what I mean? But yeah, let's just go ahead and get into this video, and I'm excited to show you my uh, my top 10 beauty products. Yeah, yeah, root beer. Okay. <laughs> Period. What to start with? What to start with? Oh my god, Beauty Guru 2016. Hey. Fuck. How do they do this? Okay. My first beauty must have is gonna be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Comes with a little spoolie to, you know, brush your hers up. <laughs> and then has a thin little brow pencil. For my brows, I like doing like very feathery, natural looking brows, and I feel like this brow pencil like executes that perfectly. I used to do only like powder where like I would have like a little brush and then like fill it in because brow pencils were always too harsh, but not for this one. Honestly, the key to brow pencils if you want like a light looking brow is to have a very light hand. That's what I've learned. Doing eyebrows, at least filling them in a little bit is a must. They shape your whole face, so it's very important. So I had to include this guy in my top 10. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then you could find this at Sephora. I don't know if you could find it at Ulta. I think it's only at Sephora, okay? The next top 10 is going to be the Benetint. Oh, so trendy, um, but it's, it's trendy for a reason. As you could see, I don't know if you could even tell, this baby is completely empty and I am desperately in need for a new one. I'm honestly probably gonna pick up a new one this weekend because it's one of my top tens. We can't, her, we can't have her going out, okay? We need to get a new one because she's in my top 10, so I need it, you know what I mean? Comes with this little applicator. Super easy, travel on the go as well. Um, I love putting it on my lips for a light little like tint obviously, but also putting it on my cheeks and my nose, it gives a very natural flushed look. And especially when I don't have a lot of makeup on or I don't want a lot of product sitting on my face, I love using this for more of a natural look. You know what I mean? All right, next up, hey! We got the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops. Technically they are called bronzing drops. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I thought it was called something else. But yeah, we got the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops. Um, these come in handy a lot, especially when I am tan. Right now I'm not tan because I forgot to self tan this week, but I will be self tanning tomorrow, so like, it's it's fine. Um, but these come in handy when my face tan starts wearing off because when you wash your face, the more and more you wash your face, the more it washes off your tan, obviously. Um, so to give the color back into the skin, a few drops of this with some lotion or oil puts the color right back and it blends in really nice, that's that's fantastic. This is what the applicator looks like, and you know, and you know what, it's great. But these definitely come in handy, and they're gonna come in handy a lot more during like summertime and stuff, so you know I had to include this in my top 10. Speaking of a bronze, you like that segue? Me too. <laughs> I have the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in shade Light Medium. Ah. As you can see, I have hit the pan with this one. Um, also, there's hair all up in it from my brush. We're just gonna ignore that. But what I love about this is that when you go in and put it on your face, it doesn't leave like a very harsh line. It, it literally like enhances your skin. I don't know how to describe it, but it does. It just blends in so beautifully and you can't even tell that there's really product on there. And that's what I love about this. I am a sucker for anything natural looking, so you know, obviously. The proof is in the pudding. Uh, literally hit pan with this and I just love this so much and I'm probably gonna have to get a new one Pretty soon here. Of course, we gotta have rare beauty in this list. Hello You're living under a rock if you have not tried these blushes out yet. This is what the applicator looks like This is the shade hope 
I use the shade Hope um, when I'm like more fair. Um, and then I'll also mix in the shade Happy, which is a brighter pink, that like really bright pink one. Um, but I love the Red Beauty blushes. I've had these for like years at this point, not like this one in particular I've had for years, but like I buy new ones. So I've used the Rare Beauty products for years now and I've tried other liquid blushes, I've tried other stuff and I just haven't liked them the same as Rare Beauty. Um, so that's why it's in my top 10. I really want to try um, the Say brush. Say? Is that how you say it? Say? I don't know. I really want to try the Say liquid blushes. I'm probably going to get that at Sephora um, this weekend when I go. Yeah, Rare Beauty, of course, in my top 10. Use her every day. She never fails. Look at that. Yeah. Alrighty, kind of going on theme with the blush trend. We got the House Labs. This is not a blush. It's it's a rose gold. Oh, you can see you. Hey. It is a rose gold highlighter. I use this as a blush topper. Um, I have it on here. Let, let me see if I could reapply it and give you a look. I literally just go in with a fluffy brush and I'll tap away the excess and I literally put it on the high points of my cheek and up like this. And this is absolutely gorgeous in the sunlight because I don't even know how to describe what it does. Like you could see, like hopefully you're seeing like what's, like it. it's just, it's beautiful. <sighs> and I always go up the sides like this to real give, really give that like, ooh, cutesy like flesh look, you know? And I love putting it on my nose. I have something in my eye. But it just gives such like a pinky, like sunburnt look, but in like a cool way, you know? Okay, speaking of highlighter, gotta have the Dior highlighter. You guys know I've raved about this countless times. This is by far the best highlighter palette or highlighters I've ever gotten in my whole life, like powder highlighters. You have every color that you need. You have a pink, you have a bronze, you have a golden, you have a silver shimmery white. And the quality is fantastic. I know that I know it's a little bit of a splurge because you know it's Dior, but honestly, it's so worth it. The amount of times I've used this and I still haven't hit pan, it's such a great investment. Like I'll put a little bit on right now. Literally take just the white and I'll pack it on the inner corner as well. I'm like look at that, guys. Do you see the glow? Hello, top ten, yeah. Okay, this is my most recent obsession. We got the Clinique Black Honey. Um, again, if you've been living under a rock, this has been so popular for, God, decades now. My mom even used this. And there's a reason why it's always stuck around and has always been popular because it's it literally makes the perfect lip. Like, it's perfect. This is what she looks like. I also love the applicator and I love how small it is. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> but don't be frightened by the color because this is a little bit like, off-putting a little bit um, because it does look like such a dark deep black purple color but just look just look at the color that it gives my lips and it's honestly really hydrating too which is great no no I will smudge it out a little bit look at that guys look at that gorgeous and what's great is that I didn't even line my lips and my lips are defined Clinique Black Honey, highly recommend everybody getting this because it does wonders. Literally, it's the perfect like throw on lip. It's fantastic. And since we're on the lip train, we got another Dior product. This is the Dior Lip Glow Oil. This is the pink shade. This is the applicator. The Dior Lip Oils, I, I really like the shine that a lip oil gives, but one thing about me, I absolutely hate lip gloss that's like sticky. That's why I only really enjoy lip oils rather than lip glosses, if that makes sense. Now this one does have a little bit of a stick to it, but it's not like an uncomfortable stickiness. Does that make sense? Like you could tell it's there, but it, like it doesn't like get caught in your hair or anything like that. And that's what it looks like. It just gives a very nice, cute, like glossy shine. And it's honestly really smooth too, which I really, really appreciate. It does last a while. Um, I will say with this one, I do catch myself reapplying it a lot. So it does last a while, but like if you're drinking water or having a, like anything to do, okay, I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Um, but like if you're drinking water, it like you will have to reapply it. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't stay on that much. Alrighty, and my final top 10 product is gonna be the Laneige Sleep Mask. As you can see, I have 
dug into this baby as well. I literally put this on every single night before I go to bed and I like lather it on too. Like I don't just put like a little tiny like pea size amount like okay like I have lip oil on like we're good. No, like I like hunk it out and like just slather it on my lips and I'll tell you why. When I do that at nighttime and I sleep with it on, I wake up and my lips are so hydrated, they're so smooth, they're, they're ready for the day, you know what I mean? So yeah, I love the Laneige sleep mask. I wanna get more Laneige products because I hear they're pretty good. Um, Laneige, if you wanna sponsor me, let me know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Laneige sleep mask, definitely in my top beauty products. Um, yeah, I just love this. I use this every day and I highly highly recommend it Alright you guys that is it for today's video and that is all my top 10 Sephora beauty That is all my top 10 Sephora beauty Ulta products if I get more beauty products I will do a part two and then update you guys comment down below what your top products are I'd love to hear and let me know if you decided to try any of these products out after me telling you about it Okay, anyways, I hope you go. Oh, oh Really quick, before we go, um, I wanted to update you guys about my filming schedule really quick. I know I always upload three times a week and it's typically on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I unfortunately will be pushing back on my filming schedule, so I'm only going to be uploading twice a week. It's probably going to be like a Wednesday and a Saturday. Um, comment down below certain days that you guys would prefer and I'll take it into account because, you know, I do this for you. Um, but with me working a full-time job, nine to five, five days a week, it's just getting really hard to put out content that I'm actually really proud of. Um, and I want to create super fun content with really good editing and like, I feel like uploading three times a week is just like it's too much right now um for me to push out content that i'm actually really proud of and i know that you guys will enjoy if that makes sense um when my schedule opens up eventually down the line then i will probably go back to going three times a week but um for now we're gonna move it to two times a week just wanted to let you guys know just wanted to keep you updated okay anyways i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and continue to have a wonderful rest of your week until i see you guys next time remember to stay always unapologetically yourself never change for anyone because you are perfect just the way you are and i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>